Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm John. So today we're going to perform a mod that's quite a bit overdue for the 2019 Honda Monkey. And that mod is putting on a speedo healer or whatever you want to call it. Um, it corrects the speedometer after gearing changes. So the ones that I've used in the past have been from 12 o'clock labs called the speedo DRD. And it's a nice kit that um, basically it's plug and play it gives you what you need you order the kit for your bike on the um, on the 12 o'clock labs website so it gives you the correct plugs and all and then you can order universal ones too if you have a bike that um, doesn't have an application on their website so basically there's uh, pretty extensive instructions on it even though it's plug and play and after you get it installed there's a process of programming it to the bike and the gearing and stuff that you have. So we're going to do all this work uh, and I'm just going to go through and show you how I do it in the video. Uh, I'm not going to talk through every single step of it. And then after we get it installed, then I'll talk about how the installation went and what you might expect doing it yourself. So with that, let's get working on the bike.
So basically what we did is install a small electronic device that intercepts the signal coming from the output shaft. This is how the Honda Monkey measures the speed. It does not read it from a wheel, so we intercept that signal by unplugging that bullet connector that's underneath that Honda Monkey side panel. We um, plug in the Speedo DRD, and in the back, we intercept the power coming from the tail light connector. So that gives it its power and its ground and the, uh, the power to operate the electronic circuit. And then we went ahead and set our um, correction factor by pressing the button on the Speedo DRD in combination with the flashing lights and all. That can get kind of confusing. Um, they have a really good video and really good instructions on their website. I'm not going to try to explain how to do that because every bike's probably going to be different. Or, you know, you, it's worth it to go on their website and use the speedometer calculator to make sure that you're inputting the correct information in terms of what your bike has. So for me, it was a 14 tooth front sprocket, 37 tooth rear, because I'm changing to a 37. I have the 36 now, but I'm changing it right after this. And the tire size. So I have the 130 tire on the back. That might change a little bit because it's a knobby, so it's advised on the website to measure your rear tire and um, get a true measurement of the circumference. I didn't feel like doing that, so I'm just going to go out and ride and see what the GPS says and uh, correct it as I need to uh, based on GPS. Uh, but anyways, yeah, the information's all on their website. There's no point for me to go over how to do that part of it. I'll put the link to that in the description of this video to make it easy for you to find. And um, so now the next thing is to go out and try it out and make sure it works. Um, so some interesting points to note during the install, some things to look out for, is on the rear taillight connector uh, sequence there, there's not a lot of wire to play with. So what I ended up doing is removing that plastic uh, container or cover boot for the uh, connector all the connectors and wiring back there and I swapped the sides and put it on the other side so I could get all of the connectors inside that boot also you might notice that I had a different wiring setup that's because I have the man in the box tail light on it um, it's gonna have different connectors than what your OEM bike would have or whatever tail or whatever tail light connector that you're using. So it's important to note that your bike might not look exactly like my bike in the back in that tail light connector area, but either way, what I would suggest to do is to slide all those connectors out of that boot and then swap the direction of the boot so it can go towards the bike and then you can get all those connectors in that way. Uh, other than that, Pretty simple install. I routed the uh, Speedo DRD wires through the underseat area and then there's little holes where you can poke it through and follow the main harness down to the side cover plate there. So I basically slid the Speedo DRD connectors through the plastic boot on the side and intercepted the um, counter shaft, the speed sensor wire there. And it was a pretty clean install and I uh, just wrapped some electrical tape around it to keep it all neat and tidy. Um, and it was a really easy install, um, not, not too bad. So hope you guys enjoyed that and um, I hope it helps you out in correcting your speedo or your speedometer on your Honda Monkey. So if you've changed gears, this is gonna be something that you'll need to do if you want that speedometer reading correctly. So with that, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd appreciate if you did, uh, give me a like or subscribe or a comment and um, let me know what you thought. So thanks again. We'll see you next time.